Ace prepares to stop for a little bit of volleyball. We pass an undersized motor yacht, probably the one of the biggest we've seen so far in absolute paradise. BBIs, we leave it in the next days to go to Dominican Republic. One's one for my beautiful Catherine. What a beautiful house on the edge of the cliffs here. And these two learn more and more about sailing and get better and better at it. Windy, 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 windy. So, I go for a little hike, I meet Mike, it's so nice. Uh, Ace is in and amongst all the other boats there. I don't know how we're going to get her out, but she's in there. It's the crowd, most crowded, tightest little anchorage I've ever seen in my life. But it's so cool, it's so beautiful here in the BVIs. And we're having a wonderful day. Tomorrow it's Puerto Rico and then Dominican Republic. Avanti, let's go. One of the busiest places I've been in the Caribbean. Here we are at White Bay in the BBIs on Joost van Dijk, uh, where Ace is nestled amongst others, looking goody, goody, goody there. And luckily, all the boats that were around us have moved away. We've got a gap to get out of here. What's happened, Ben? You kicked your twi toe twice. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> Once. Okay. All gotta say. That's all you got to say. Here we are with a. a a, a, a vertically challenged uh, driver. She can barely <laughs> see over the steering wheel. One like, like one of those little ladies in the car. And in the background is a beautiful sea cloud. A really, really nice big thing. We're on our way to the USVIs, Puerto Rico, Dom Rep. Are you ready? Ready. Ready. Are you ready? Ready. Let's do it. Yes, Thanks to everybody in our lives for helping and advising. My friend doing his first studying since he's 16. <laughs> you know, trying to make sure I land the ship. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Captain, thanks to the Nutmix people. And your husband, Mr. Nutmix. Radio, Mitch. Safety device and keeping safe. Dad, I love you. I do this for you. As we pass a beautiful pink lighthouse and a landscape and a seabird on a red buoy, we arrive in Puerto Rico. This radio was such a help with the AIS receiving. I can see which boats are on our way on our collision course. It warns me. And I thought we would make a few panqueque. So here we are making pancakes out at sea, which is so very cool. The crew doing very well and we're crossing something called the Mona Passage, which is quite roly, but it's quite okay so far. We're about uh, eight or nine, ten hours from Dominican Republic, from our first possible anchorage. So we're going to be all right. Nice. Repeat what you just said. I've always wanted to come here, but I never thought I would actually do it. So here we are. Yeah, cool. Second time for me to come to the Dominican Republic. It's just before sunset. We're going to arrive in the last light. We've got another hour and a half. We're not quite there yet, but we're gunning it on the engine. Put away the sails. It's enough sailing for today and it's been absolutely great. Wow, what a nice crossing. Did you enjoy it, sleepyhead? I did, but cool. I'm very tired. Yeah, no problem. Right. We have a good Relax. night's sleep. That's it. I want sleep and beer. Sleep and beer? Yeah, I agree. A nice cold beer would be nice. Oh, what a happy moment in my life! We've got the windlass working. It's been Luis, it's been Mike, it's been Marco, and now it is Ben who has saved the day. Ben, give us a quick test there. I want to hear the sound of success. Woo! Woo! The sound of a windlass working. You cannot believe how one man could be so excited that a windlass is working. As we leave paradise here on the last moments, on Ace for these lovely, lovely people. What a pleasure Thank it's been. Thank you, Steph. Thank you, Ace. It's been wonderful. Has it? Have you it's had a great, great time? Oh, absolutely. How um, could we not? Yeah, I know. <laughs> absolutely great. A cute little blue room a Airbnb uh, or a hostel hotel in this beautiful place in Samana in Santo Domingo. 
or uh, Dominican Republic rather, uh, just to spend a night on land. Beautiful view and uh, watching all the turkey vultures flying around here, enjoying myself and taking a little bit of a break for the, from the boat and from the cruise for one night. That's quite lovely. Hola, que tal, que tal? Buen. <laughs> What's happening? Are you driving? Ah, yeah. oh, great! First time on the wheel. We've got some new characters on Ace today. Very, very nice. It's Lilu, it's Anton, and we have just left another South African boat. South African flag with South African boat. This boat belongs to Art Matthews, who's the lead singer of Just Ginger, and we leave the Bay of Samana. It's with Steph's catering. How's that? Yeah, you like it? What are we eating? Bultong. Oh, from the Bultong clan. Oh, and sprouts. Yo, my first attempt of sprouts in the sprouting bowl is working so well. We've got the mung beans, alfalfa, and beetroot all working so nicely. Wow, 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 wow. Excellent. Happier than a little pig in little pig shit. It is a little bit crazy on Ace, but here we have sleeping bag, three cushions, somebody who had a big party last night and who's feeling a little bit green. And then we've got a very chilled out young lady and one guy who's also had a beer last night. Yeah. But it's beautiful here. Most eastern point of Dominican Republic and it's absolutely stunning here. This video will do no justice to how gorgeous these cliffs are. What happened? Just broke your phone. Yeah, she just broke the ladder. No, no, don't worry. One bolt was coming loose anyway, and the ladder has just fallen down here. Luckily, no damage, not catching any lines inside the pulleys. All good. Remember, every day something has to break on the boat. Not every day. Please, please. <laughs> so cool to see a guy come wing foiling past us, or kite foiling rather. First time that Ace has somebody arrived near him while underway. Cool, cool. Madame is impressed and likes it a lot. Very nice. Here he comes. Crossing in front of our bow. Cheeky but lacquer. Well done, buddy. Nice, nice. Shy little girl looking at me after I've done a little magic trick for her. Here we are getting our haircut today. <laughs> Very cool. Got a nice shave and meeting cool guys from Haiti. I unfortunately have to come here by taxi, but it's the way it is. A beautiful beach called Cabarete. Lots of kiting going on and it's looking goody goody. Got my kit together. Let's go kiting moment when your dinghy is dragging behind you but the pressure is too much and you rip the support of the dinghy onto you so now it's playing a man overboard exercise under a motor in big swell to recover my dinghy drop my sails very quickly and it's getting to sunset but I have to do it and big waves want to splash into my boat which I also don't want, so let's close the covers and go recover the dinghy. Ah, oh, God almighty. Boat hook ready, lines are ready, big swell. Ah, oh, let's manage it. It's not the end of the world. Ah, another challenge for Steph under autopilot. How to do. Oh, come on, dinghy. Why did you do this to me? Ah, that's how it happens. Come on, let's go. Put more power on the motor. Bit more power on the motor, bit more sinking, bit more turning, and we'll get there. Let's catch it. Here in Dominican Republic, I come into this marina called Ocean World on the northern side of the island. Should be a crazy sea to sail in, but it's quite okay. We've got a Disneyland style building here, and the sea outside is really quiet, waiting to eat any boat up. But I've managed to come up along this port here, even in strong wind, and uh, filled up with fuel and water, much needed. Lovely. This could just as well be Grenada, uh, Prickly Bay, or the like, with lots and lots of abandoned boats and old boats and people living on their boats. I like this one. This is an old pirate ship style boat. Very cool.
Now here is a good service. People who come with their boat and they come to even order you an, a mooring ball. They have their uh, water. Paco is there and he's the man doing it. Absolutely great. What a legend here as I wake up in the morning and it's full service friendliness. Four dollars a day for a mooring ball and a smile to go with it. People who show up at your boat and do that. Wow. Here I meet a very interesting man over a coffee and a uh, watermelon juice. He has 14 brothers and sisters and they are now 40 grandchildren. So his parents have produced an offspring of 64 so far. Sorry, let's make that 54. 54 kids so far. Wow, it's amazing. Things haven't changed much in the Dominican Republic when it comes to that. We're discussing politics, we're discussing maths, we're discussing uh, business. Wow, crazy. Today I rent a car for 24 hours here in Dominican Republic and uh, try and contend with the people who drive extremely badly and um, <clears throat> I'm picking up a, a crew member this afternoon at the airport. Uh, we decided to share the rental car and at the same time I do a shopping trip and visit Santiago and Puerto Plata. Uh, looking forward to meeting Bill from America but in the meantime I drive past this beautiful mountain with beautiful looking clouds and uh, wow it looks like super flyable. I think of myself and I think of how my life has changed from paragliding on a daily basis to sailing on a daily basis and only dreaming about paragliding but still the sky still looks good and the mountains still look good and I still dream of paragliding again uh, in this beautiful place where I have paraglided in the past and it's been such a nice place. Jeez, dude, seriously, I'm doing like 85 and you're coming past me like I'm standing still. Take that. Now I've seen it all. Here on the back of a boat, I see a YouTube sticker along with the name of the boat. How's that for punting that you're an influencer? Crazy. Bell, are you okay? Hey, I'm okay. Yeah, I'm great I'm shit. Good. Yeah, I'm great. Yeah. The dinghy is loaded full with all sorts of things that we bought today, and we're heading out to Ace I know, for the but first I thought that was time. a bottle of wine I was protecting. It's balsamic vinegar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's balsamic vinegar. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very Israeli oh, wow. thing, I'm sure. No, maple syrup. No, the Israelis know how to eat. We have two beautiful Israeli people on our boat. One beautiful lady from America and one ugly South African guy. Uh, yeah, what can hardly. you do? And we are talking about food. Yeah. yeah. He fat. Yeah, he we fat. see here the kombucha. Went, yeah, the kombucha is here. Of course, like the kombucha and cool the sprouts stuff. are growing really nicely. I'm just about to share some sprout mix. The alfalfa, the broccoli. We have made the cheese from the kefir. It's all happening on the boat. Crazy some, stuff. some bread. We're, some we're, kiting we're friends. Steph Selva cooking 101. Apple's. It's only normal for me. I like it. We're looking at battery solution and it's not just the normal chaos in Ace, it's the most messed up chaos I've seen in the longest time. <laughs> there is Mr. Brock, super superstar, helping me out with the battery solution. It's still chaos in my boat. And it looks like I've already in the shortest time managed to screw the hell out of these batteries, which is now over now. So new batteries, one way or another, maybe LiPo upgrade, but in the meantime, some battery, something. Let's see, we go to Puerto Plata to buy some batteries. What the hell? boat full of naked women was his <laughs> greatest dream. We're talking about skinny dipping and we're talking about being natural and just being ourselves. And Val and I enjoy our first actual day together here. We go out because there's no wind into the entrance and where we can swim. The lagoon's not very clean and uh, we look yeah. for a battery solution. We should have left today, but it doesn't matter. Cuba is still calling and we're on our way. Definitely. <laughs> Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. And much like my motto in my life, in the end, only kindness matters. Yep. Wishing you all a super night and... Uh...